worked my way up. I didn't just start off at finance because no one's going to give like a student who doesn't know anything. Yeah, exactly. You have no like experience, that. blah, exactly. blah, blah. You know? <laughs> now you need sort of two years of experience to even get even into get the door anything, in some places. Honestly. You know? Like I started off as a retail assistant and I had the worst experience, you know, yeah. like people spat in my face, you know. Well, people... I actually spat in your face? Yeah. Well, like genuine <laughs> spit, like. like... Yes, <laughs> like right. genuinely spat on my face because I was oh, working wow. for um, fitting rooms, right? Yeah, yeah. And um, at that point, people were just like, I had my hands like this. Mm -hmm. So like, okay, like return the clothes. People would dump the clothes on me all the way up to my head where I couldn't even see mm -hmm. and then one time I was just like sorry look like it's quite you know packed and stuff yeah this customer was so rude he fully thought I was being racist to him yeah, because yeah, it was yeah. like event day so it was like one of those you know like really you know macho personality people that came so, okay so no, yeah they come from up north yeah, yeah exactly yeah, yeah. and he just spat on my face and I was just like what the hell? Uh, Listen, I was hoping that it wasn't just like a frequent occurrence yeah, when yeah, bare yeah. people were just doing spit. <laughs> like the amount of spit on your face. Imagine the accumulation <laughs> on my face. Like, ew. I'm unhappy with your service. <laughs> Oh my god. No, but like listen, um I feel like you have to go through the mud when you're in yeah. uni, especially because mm. even for me I worked at American Golf, right? Mm. And it's a pretty like it's a pretty tame place to work at because you know, you're surrounded by middle aged white people predominantly. Yeah, yeah. Um some Nigerians come over with hella bags, bro. <laughs> hella bags and just drop two K there Nigerian and I get the commission yeah. from that. Bro, they were princes because they gave me the commission. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But um, yeah, in, even in that environment, you kind of get spat on. You get told like, yeah. oh, what do you know? You're nothing. Yeah. Even though I've been training in this shit for like 10 years. Fuck you. But anyways, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because um, I know my shit, man. Yeah, yeah, I know my shit in golf. Yeah. But like, you know, some people will always look down on you because of your age. Yeah. And you know what? Don't let that be a deterrent mm -hmm. especially if you're a uni student because you yeah. need to supplement yeah, yeah. that income yeah. and you're gaining a skill you're understanding how to you know mm. engage with people mm -hmm. who may be completely out of your comfort zone mm. because your circle is often That's who you're going to copy it's monkey see monkey do out here you know mm. so you're probably going to be a lot like your five closest friends yeah yeah you know but i but, think it's just quite character building though like you know working yeah, exactly. butting up like it is exactly like um like door to door people right mm -hmm. like normally it's a pyramid scheme obviously the word pyramid scheme no one likes that shit right no <laughs> one likes the association <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but the people who are successful in those sort of industries have worked from the ground up you know have been spat on at the door mm -hmm. by the way i have been spat on too so don't worry i oh, used to wow. do door to door as well okay, cool. so oh, i was spat on at one wow. point um i was told to fuck off i was even called a curry muncher at one point you know, yeah. and you know what? To be fair, he's right because I did much curry. Like I did do that shit. You know what I mean? The racial slurs. Yeah, like, the racial slurs. I was like, yo, I actually am about to much curry when I get and home. It's safe, my guy. Better than your food. Yeah, exactly. It's seasoned. Yeah, it's 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 not just salt. You it's know not what I mean? salt and pepper. Not it's just pink seasoned. Himalayan salt. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like your face. Anyways, um, but yeah, no, it was um. It was definitely a character building experience, you know? Like, I was a pretty shy kid growing up. Um, I, I'm not, were you? Yeah, bro. I, never I may have played the role of nah, someone who I, was I never saw this guy shy, you know? He's like, known me from, like, middle school, innit? Okay, so he's, Secondary he's shy. Secondary school, so he's, sorry. He's just shy. Yeah, he's not, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say he was, like, like proper shy on that. Like, okay. he did, I mean, But to you guys, right? Nah, nah, I feel like, all right, I feel like the first time you came, the first year you came here, you were a bit, like, reserved. Close. Oh shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. Why are you trying to lean back out of the nah, yeah, no, he's, I just, he's I have This is my podcast now. He doesn't yeah, want to sorry. Us. <laughs> nah, nah, I, have, I just have a habit of like leaning in chairs and that. But, yeah, are yeah. you like creeped up by Omi? Is that what it is? Nah, yeah, nah. Should, should I move away? Is he's not going to see over there. He's, he's, he's not going to look at your producing skills, bro. Come on. Maybe. He's going to end up becoming a producer, taking all your clients, bro. Nah, but. So my story. Do you? Nah, it's cool. Um, Yeah, I was. Do you need to spit? Do you want to go outside? Nah, I'll spit on your face. Okay. Nah, yeah. um, he wasn't shy. He was just shy. Hmm? So he wasn't actually shy. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't actually. Um, I mean, the first year he came here, he was a bit like reserved yeah. and that. But then okay. after that, he was just like, yeah, it was, yeah, it was a lot more just out there, isn't it? Yeah, I, yeah. I never really saw you as like shy or that. No, fair, fair. No, I, I mean, yeah. I like that. You know, like it, so it, made, it gave yeah. me a little bit of an ego boost, blah blah mm. blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, I wanted to ask you actually. Yeah. Were you shy or were you always like this confident, bubbly person? No, no, no. I was the shyest person ever. See, like I, I kind of, you know, anticipated <laughs> that, but like, yeah, go on. No, I was just really, really shy because yeah. um, 
when I came from Portugal, um, here, I was really Oh yeah, you Portugal. were born in Portugal, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, right, yeah. so when I came here, I didn't know English, like I didn't know, you know, the language and things and everyone else, like the other kids were more developed in that sense than yeah. I was. And she was just all como starting everywhere. Yeah, that was just me. I was like, hello, like, you know, no one wanted to be friends with me. And I think that kind of sticks with you. Like you just tend to, yeah. even though you're not very like introverted, you're kind of forced to be really introverted. Yeah, you're, you're because, kind of forced into that box, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, because it's like no one wants to interact with you. No one wants to be your friend. So it's yeah. like, even though I'm attempting and trying to get out of that box, no one's really there to like, you know, help me through it. So ever since then, I was just like to myself, I was always that nerd. Like I was just, okay, if I don't have friends, I've got books, I've got grades, like, I be became a nerd, you know, like, and that's yeah. what I was. I used to have friends, I wasn't like a complete loner, Yeah, no, right? of course, of course, you always have, like, your little circle, even the rejects, you know, in the corner, yeah, you know, yeah, at yeah. the lunchroom, yeah, yeah, like, they still they have, have, like, their they three they people who are, like, yeah. a clique. Um, I had, yeah. like, three, two, two, three friends, and then it was just like, yeah, people just knew me for that girl who I can copy off. You know, like, hey, can do my yeah, homework. Yeah, yeah, you, you know? read the books, you know. <laughs> yeah. Like, she's not she's not out at the parties with us, man. Yeah. So, we'll read her books and we'll be calm. You know what I mean? But, but, um, I'm just a very shy person. And then I just forced myself to be more confident, more yeah. extroverted. And now I feel like I'm really, really extroverted. Did you, did you feel like you actually forced yourself into that sort of personality type? I think so, yeah. Because it got to a stage where I was blocking my opportunities for mm. myself simply because I was so shy. I yeah, couldn't yeah. approach someone. I couldn't market myself. I couldn't put myself out there. Yeah. So even if there was like 50 people in a room, I would yeah. be that one kid in the corner who no one knew about. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, if you're not networking with people, yeah, I believe exactly. you're disadvantaging yourself automatically. Mm. You know, so yeah, I just exactly. forced myself into that mindset okay like you know what stop being so afraid of the spotlight stop being so afraid of what you want to do and just go do it like you have the means you have the resources yeah go do it you have the skill set go exactly. do it you know yeah. so that was that was me the shy kid who turned confident you know what i mean because at the end of the day your network is your net worth right exactly and that's what they always say but i mean to further go along that point i feel like everyone should look at life as like they're the main character mm. yeah. and they are yeah. just sort of outsourcing the yeah. perfect characters that would work in the show mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. you yeah. know what i mean Definitely. and that's kind of what we've done with the podcast you know kind mm -hmm. of thing whenever we get um a guest on we normally do like further collaborations here and okay. there so you know what i'm even down for you to do henna on my arm you know okay I mean? no you guys do heard it here first okay <laughs> like if listen, i do some henna on him then listen I'm, it's yeah. not going to be a happy happy episode <laughs> all right but i'll do it for the banter innit? you'll be, <laughs> you'll be you know? like oh get the shit off me <laughs>